How's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, and that is, that is A, not good, but actually probably <laughs> not too bad either. So you guys probably noticed them in the last vlog. Um, there have been two new little additions behind me. Um, I'm hoping some of you will recognise this from the cover of Hyena Boy. Um, it's the headband that I made for Hyena Boy's cover. It is much too big for me because, I mean, to be honest, it's probably bigger than what it would have been for Jay. Um, but the, the little badge itself was quite big. And I didn't really want to trim it down smaller because my cutting skills are not the best. So I, I left it as is. Um, so yeah, re realistically, probably what, what he would have had would have been this sort of badge onto like the headband and it wouldn't be quite so. And then, then again, it, it might have been, but <laughs> he has skills that I don't have because I can't get this neatly on underneath my fringe without it looking like weird um so i don't know he just must have found a way of wearing it but you know i mean as, as i said i i made this myself it's definitely not the standard that um nana page would have made um it's definitely it's close enough it's close enough um but yeah i made this for the cover of hyena boy um so that is now in the background behind me. Um, so I'm not quite sure how to place it. And this, this I bought for the cover of We Giants, which I'm currently working on. And again, it is much too big for me. <laughs> I have a small head, guys. I have a very, very small head. Um, I mean, I knew going in to buying this one that it was going to be too big for me but the smaller size wasn't available um, which is a little bit disappointing but then again it's not really for me um, I'm not really a hat person I've tried I've tried several times over my lifetime to get into wearing hats because on some people hats look amazing um, and I've tried and Sometimes the hats kind of suit me and sometimes they don't. Um, I'm just not, I'm just not a hat person. And some of that might come down to the fact that I do wear a hat for work. Um, I don't 100% have to now that I'm a manager um, wear a hat for work when I'm in certain places in my workplace. Um, I do because I think it looks neater. I think it's smarter. I think I think the hat is smarter than not wearing the hat. That's my personal opinion. There are managers who choose not to, um, probably for the same reason, and that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly valid. It's you know whatever makes you feel like you're looking professional. And for me, when I'm in work, I feel like the hat makes me look professional. Um, and originally, some of that came from when my hair was longer. Um, and having to sort of like have it up and I shed like a cat so I would not not wear a hairnet um and obviously as I was wearing a hairnet it was needed to have the hat with it so I think some of it for me comes from that way of thinking still obviously my hair's a lot shorter now I don't have to wear the hairnet um but I'm still like you know I I like wearing the hat for work I personally feel like it's it it's more professional looking um but that's just as i said that's just my opinions but um i'm not really a hat person <laughs> um so yeah I, I did sort of buy the hat not being too worried that it was too big for me to actually wear um purely because i knew that uh i wasn't really buying it to wear it i was buying it for the cover uh, for We Giants, which, as I said, I am currently working on. Um, I've actually 
I've actually got the hat onto the cover now. I've got the wording onto the cover now. Um, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> I know I'm no I'm like the one saying that, but it's looking pretty good. Um, or it was when I when I look, like added the hat to it and, and sort of fiddled around with a few things. Um, it definitely I'm I'm hoping it does kind of what I want it to do, which is work as a complement to um, the hyena boy cover. So the hyena boy cover, you've got like the image, the sort of centrally, and then um, the title and, and the author name. And I've even done the author name in the same place. Um, so with the colours I see and no doors allowed, you've got the title at the top sort of not like in a traditional kind of like one line kind of way so with no doors allowed you've got it like stacked and then with the colors i see you've got it sort of doing a sort of that kind of thing um and then you've got my author name down in the corner so those two books have both got that and then they're both mostly color without really a sort of image to it and it's sort of like colour and uh, conveying emotion kind of thing, um, sort of more abstract, I guess you'd say, so that the colours covers for those two very much more abstract, um, whereas the cover for Hyena Boy, you've got the central image, you've got the title and then the author's name underneath the title. Um, so for doing We Giant, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that for, for the title and for the author name, and then I'm gonna have like a central image and for this one it's the hat for Heine Boy it was the notebooks plus a nail plus the headband um but I'm hoping that will give them sort of a cohesive feel so that when you see all four covers together it feels like you've got a complete collection with um yeah I'm, I'm hoping that's what it will look like um as I said I there I want to go back and sort of touch the cover up a little bit for We Giants, um, see if I can't do anything else just to sort of uh, polish it up a little bit more. Obviously this is uh, the second time that I, well, I say the second time, I did the original covers for um, Echo. This is the second time that, um, that I've done one where I'm trying to imitate somebody else's style. <laughs> rather than having somebody else tidy up my style. Um, so I'm hoping that they will look reasonably cohesive as a collection where you've got two with one sort of style of cover and two with another sort of style of cover and it will be very uh, reflective in, in that kind of way. Um, I think that's very much how I'm going to have to play, uh, I'm going to have to play it when it comes to um, the covers that I'm making from here on out, um, anything where I'm doing the entire series or whatever from, from scratch and there's nothing to compare it to, then you know, I'm going to work with that. And anything where, you no, know, there, there was an original version of this, um, I have to bear that in mind when I'm doing whatever it is I'm doing, um, then I'm going to, to very much uh, try to be imitating, um, not getting his style spot on because he's very, he's very talented. <laughs> um, but definitely sort of trying to get something that looks similar enough um, or in the same sort of vein where it will make it cohesive. Um, so that will be in, like I've got the asset for The Shadow Beneath the Light, um, the, the, the lower title on the Doormaker Sun books. So, it should be reasonably easy to sort of uh, get something to work from from there. Um, so it, for me, I guess sort of the main challenge was to get No Doors like it was part of the series and getting We Giants to look like it was part of the series. And I think making the decision to go with something a bit more abstract for No Doors Allowed and then something a bit more, I don't want to say traditional, but a bit more focus um, for We Giants makes sense because else you might have, I, I, I mean, I don't know exactly what his plans were for no, the no, no Doors Allowed cover, but I think it was probably more similar to um, 
what what uh, more similar to to hyena boys than to um, the Kurds I see, which case I would have ended up with this very abstract cover um, for one book and then the other books kind of not having that, which I think. But which what might have worked, um, depending on you know exactly how he did everything else, it might have worked you know perfectly well. Um, but at the same time, it might have made because I see look very um, out of place. Um, whereas I think doing the no doors allowed cover to kind of be reflective of the the because I see cover, um, which works uh, for various reasons. Um, means that you know it it then doesn't make that one look like it's completely out of place and by making the we giants cover kind of reflective of the hyena boy cover hopefully it will have the same effect and the hyena boy cover won't look completely out of place um that is my hopes um how well i actually managed to achieve that i don't know um but at this point in time i'm like yeah i'm very much hoping that by doing it this way it will be cohesive enough um, uh, to, to look at the overall series where you've got two covers that are very abstract and two covers that are very grounded and then they all kind of work together because it's it's a collection rather than you know, a traditional four book series. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's, that's how things are, are going to end up and um, at this point in time I'm kind of like very excited for the, <laughs> for, the, for releasing We Giants. Um, I'm, I, as I said, I think I'm on like one or two, no, def two or three more um, edit throughs. Um, just sort of depending on a lot of a lot of things, a lot of factors. I'm very happy with how We Giants is currently sounding and looking and um, feeling. So I feel like I'm pretty much there with it but I don't want to say I'm definitely there with it until I'm definitely there with it um but definitely having like the cover definitely has sort of like having the cover pretty much ready at this stage is very motivating um it sort of gives me more of like of a, of a grounded sort of feel for, for when I want to go for it and uh might start working on the blurb soon um just because I have more of an idea of what I want to do with the blurb with it than I did for No Doors Loud. Um, I, like, I love No Doors Loud as a book, I really do. Um, no Doors Loud takes so many twists and turns um, that it's hard to kind of narrow in on what where do you want to take the focus for this book. Um, it was kind of similar with The Colors I See as well, but although there was more of an idea of okay yeah these, these are things that i can put in the blurb to sort of you know, make it sound interesting make it sound a bit more focused with no door there because it it does do so much um because it is as i said it's the longest book in the series a lot happens <laughs> uh it was a lot harder to kind of focus in on exactly what the blurb needed to be about in order to sort of attract readers to it without giving too much away because um Obviously, the last thing you want to do is give too much away. Uh, whereas the the blurb for We Giants is going to be a little easier to write, um, even if I am again just focusing very much in on the very start of the story. Um, a lot of that is sort of like it's very relevant um, to me at this stage, although. Uh, because all four books in the series are about the boys in Never Eight, and it's about their friendship group, it's about the things that they go through as a group, um, about the things they experience from like, you know, different points of view, the different perspectives. Um, it is all four books are very much about their friendship, but they're also all very much about other things. So with um, Heiner Boy's story, um, it's very much, with Jay's story, it's very much, you know, what's going on in his in his home life and his family life and the abuse that he is suffering and that side of things in Zell's story it's very much his developing relationship with his his parents and, and um awakening to, to his, his sexuality awakening to his powers um and that kind of that kind of thing um 
With Ryan's story, it's very much uh, dealing with his anxiety issues um, and learning, you know, how to be himself um, in a world that isn't necessarily set up to be the most convenient for, for him and for the issues that he is going through and the issues that he experiences and learning that he can still find a place within that. Um, he just needs to know where to look and, and you know, what expectations to have. And, and it's very much his story is, is basically, it's not about overcoming, you know, all, all of his mental health issues and everything else. It's, it's about learning how to manage them um and you know incorporate them and and for them to not be a barrier for them to still be there but for them to not be a barrier for for all the things that he wants to do so it's not about overcoming them as much as it is about um learning to accept them as a part of who he is and dealing with you know what he needs to deal with in order for it to not hold him back um i guess that's the best way of fitting it and I would say that the Giants Sly story, um, as much as it is definitely about his health, um, it's also it's also a story of four brothers, um, not the four friends, but Sly and his his three siblings, his three brothers. It's very much a story about the four of them and how they cope with essentially learning and, and coming to terms with stuff they never thought they would they would ever have to in you know how one event can affect four you know siblings in very similar and very different kind of ways and I ah I as a story it feels the most I mean, it's weird to say it feels the most family orientated when um, all, all of them have this this family element to them in, in different ways um, and different kinds of family dynamics and, and stuff like that. Um, but very much Sly's story, it's the one that feels the most like family <laughs> um, and the most about family and as I said it's a weird thing to say because all of the books have a very strong uh, family element to them in their own ways um, and highlighting you know, different types of family as I said different types of family dynamics and, and stuff like that but We Giants is the one that feels like it's the most about family and it's the most about um, coming to terms with what it means to be part of a family um, and the good and the bad that that can entail and come with. Um, I mean, maybe other people won't necessarily see it that way, but um, it is definitely a story, above all else, it is definitely a story about four brothers. Um, it's also part of a story about four friends, because <laughs> obviously it connects into the rest of the Neverating Collection, which is very much stories about these four friends. Um, but like the heart, I would say, of We Giant is Sly's relationship with his brothers and, and those familiar bonds and how they have to change and adapt in, and, and everything else in order to sort of deal with the situation that they are in, which is not a situation they ever thought they would be in. Um, and all like the trials and tribulations and the difficulties and, and everything else that kind of goes along with that. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm very looking forward to the complex the yeah. <laughs> so I'm very much looking forward to the collection being complete, um, having all four uh, boys' stories out there, and and like yeah, it's uh, the series as a whole is is about friendship, it's about family, it's about love, it's about you know the bonds that connect us to different people. And how those can change and and how life is like messy and complicated and that it's allowed to be messy and complicated that you know if bad things happen to you you're allowed to not know how you feel about it you're allowed to have very contradictory feelings um about it you, you know it's not a simple case of bad thing happens i must 
hate the bad thing that has happened um, because emotions are more complex than that. And I love the fact that this this collection, this this uh, this um, these stories about these four boys, is very much about how complex life can be and the different ways in which life can be complex. But at the same time, you know, if you've got people around you who, who care about you, who you, know, are, you are genuinely connected to, then it, it doesn't make all the bad stuff go away, but it does make you less alone. And by being less alone, it can make things easier, not will make things easier, but it can make things easier. It can make things less isolating. It can make things less um, uncertain and, you know, being able to, to to have that is, I think, yeah, it's it's one of the reasons why I do love this collection so much. Um, because it, as I said, it's not just about the friendship these four boys have. It's not just about um, all the family's uh, stuff, all the family drama, and all the you know the, the family bonds and stuff that that do get sort of highlighted and, and how messy and, and that can be sometimes. It's just they're, they're full stories about how complex life can be and, you know, how you can weather through a lot of that complexity if you have people around you who care about you. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to stop babbling um, now. I Hope you've kind of enjoyed the babbling. Um, these will be remaining in the background of um, these vlogs from now on, along with these guys. I want to sort of try and start putting more stuff behind me, whether it's stuff that's book related, whether that's stuff that is my interest related. Um, it will very much depend on what I can get in the background behind me and how well I can get it to stay there. <laughs> But that is often the hardest part is actually getting stuff to sort of stay where I wanted to on this couch because as soon as I sit down like everything just falls everywhere. Um, so yeah look forward to seeing like how this might change up in the next uh, few months and stuff like that. I mean obviously I'm not going to get everything changed up right away it's just over time things may appear behind me and sometimes I might draw attention to it like I have today, um, other times I might just leave it as it is. Sometimes some of these things might be replaced by different things. Um, who knows? I, I have no idea how things are gonna sort of shape up. Um, behind me, I'm just sort of, at the moment, this is gonna be the setup and we'll see how it sort of changes up from there, so. All right, okay, so I hope you guys have found this one sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to finding out more details about We Giants as I, continue the process of trying to get it out there um, no set release date yet but at least I have a cover so when I have finished the editing I can just make proper decisions and actually be in control of when it gets released I am very very much looking forward to that um yeah I hope you're looking forward to see what I'm going to be talking about next time I need to stop clapping my hands like this because it's very annoying um and I will see you guys next time See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.